If you've been lucky enough to stay in today, hopefully we've allowed you to see uh, without you having to experience just how dangerous the roads have been. Nick Starling been working Dallas County all morning where drivers have been dealing with some pretty tough conditions. Nick, where are you now and, and how's it going out there? Hey, Keith, we're in the Kessler Park area here in Dallas, and within the past half hour, we're actually seeing a lot of that cold rain start to fall here in Dallas. And this is actually a very hilly neighborhood, and it's causing a lot of problems for drivers and residents who live in this area. You can just see the sheet of ice, all these roads here, uh, none of it's been treated, and you can see it dips down, way down over here. Uh, you can see crews put in some salt uh, or actually some sand over here to help with traction because we've seen car after car slip down this road or be stuck. Actually, I think we have video of a stuck car. Uh, and this guy has been here since 6.30 uh, this morning. He just got out within the past hour. He says he was trying to make a morning run to McDonald's and get his morning breakfast. That turned out to be a bad idea because he was stuck here for about two hours. Luckily, police came and they tried to help him. I think they're the ones that maybe poured the sand down to help get him out, but it took two hours and he was here for quite some time. And he told me afterwards that he wished he would never left home, obviously because of the conditions that we're seeing right now. Uh, but it's just really slick. Unless you get on those main roads, the residential streets are very slick. So stay home if you can. Otherwise, you may be find yourself stranded for a few hours. We'll send back over to you, Keith. Yeah, Nick, Mickey D's over a billion served. He did not need to be a billion and one. He needed to stay home, and we all need to remind people, stay safe, stay indoors. If you do not have to get out, Nick, you stay safe. We'll be back at you in just a bit.